Just checked out of our uh, hostel, the Jacob's Inn, and we're heading to uh, the city of Cork. It's like the second biggest city here in uh, Ireland. So uh, we're taking a train there, our first train ever uh. in Europe. So it's a little stressful. It's pretty simple, but we're making it a lot harder than it should be. We've asked the guy about like three different times which train it is, and so it's just downstairs, and we just have to, we just have to take a uh, a train, a train, and then it's another connecting one to Cork. Um, wish us luck, and hopefully we don't get lost and don't miss our train. <laughs> Alright, we made it to the Houston station, so we boarded on the Conley station, and we're at the Houston station, and then from Houston, we take a train directly to Cork, about two hours or so, so it should be a nicer train, like actually, you know, nice seats and everything. Wish us luck. Again. No more fighting. <laughs> arrived here in Cork Kent station now I we did got it. <laughs> yes we did it I now we got <laughs> now we got to find our uh, Airbnb which is only about a five minute walk from here so it's just a matter of finding it so let's go we made it with the help of a fellow citizen here in Ireland this is our Airbnb you with the scuffle thing huh then you say what side to come in this is summer hill side right Welcome to our Airbnb. Let's try again. One more time. <laughs> All right, we made it to our Airbnb in Cork. This is it. <laughs> All right, so we have like a, a our private, bed. private room. We have a bed right here. A wardrobe. Sorry, we kind of already moved in. Yes. Um, a nice desk for us to sit in if we need anything. A laundry basket, even though we won't be doing laundry I don't think and then our bathroom yeah, small little bathroom okay. but it's good enough for us can touch both sides all right well it's small. yeah which I think is like a European thing yeah. we're not used to this yes one thing the, <laughs> probably the biggest flaw of this pretty like it's a cool little house it's definitely old so definitely kind of like you kind of know but is the door doesn't close all the way the door or it gets close. stuck yes and it's and it doesn't lock. Yeah, so that's our biggest complaint. It's, it's just kind of weird, but the only good thing is that, so it's a kind of shared apartment kind of deal. So this is the common space. Yes. Over here is the common space for the kitchen. Kitchen, then, dining table, TV with Netflix. Really pretty view. Really pretty view of the city over there. It's all cork right there. And then our entrance is down there. And then the, I guess the Airbnb, like the people that own the place live like on the other side of the, uh, or the side. It's like a shared townhome. Yeah, shared townhome. So this is the kitchen. Um, there's a fridge and a freezer, microwave, toaster, kettle, oven. I don't think we'll be doing any of that. TV. And then, so this is the, uh, what's it called? This is the other shared room. So if someone were to stay here, this would be their room. So I guess the every, every person told us that um, no one's staying here, which is kind of good. Um, yeah, since our door is locked. The only one that does it to get into like the little apartment suite. So this one locks and it has a thing down there. So I think we'll be fine. Um, but for whatever reason, you know, someone to get in or we share a room, there could be a possibility of you know, someone, you know, taking our stuff. But I don't really think so. I don't think, especially here in Ireland, if we're going to have a room, <laughs> if we're going to have a room that doesn't lock, it's probably going to be here in Ireland. Um, like even getting here. You're so much taller. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Even getting here, uh, this lady, we're like trying to like figure out where the house was. It's literally right up the stairs from the station. From the... It wasn't far. It wasn't far. We were, we saw the house. It's just a little different. And there was this lady kind of seeing us. Oh, kind of struggling a little bit. She, she came got out of her car. Mm -hmm. Got out of her car. She's like, oh, do you guys need help? I'm like, yeah. She's like, oh, yeah, this is the house. Is this Martin? I'm like, yeah, that's the Airbnb host. Well, she's like, oh, she yeah. She knew his name. So I'm assuming they all know each other. But, I mean, I feel comfortable. I don't actually kind of feel the... Um, we're only here for a day and a half, basically. So, um, two nights. So, yeah. But yeah, no, it's a really cute place. Um, very old. So if you're kind of into like Victorian old Victorian vintage, vintage houses, definitely for you. Um, privacy is, uh, eh. But uh, I think we'll be all right. So okay, one thing we wanted to add is I'm in like a yes theory like Ireland group, 
and I mentioned how we were going to Cork today, um, last night, and then someone said, you're very brave for going to Cork with the storm. What? Storm. <laughs> we had no idea that last night, I guess, there was a massive storm um, with like up to 80 mile per hour winds, <laughs> and it's insane. Yeah, it's it's fine now. It's slow, right, rainy, windy, but... We're like, what the? Nervous coming here because we're like, uh, are we okay? Like, there's trees blown down. People had no power. But we're yeah. here and we made it. Yeah. But... I messaged a guy in the morning and I'm like, hey, I know there's a storm. I hope you're okay. And I hope the Airbnb has power and everything. And he's like, oh, yeah, everything's fine. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so, so, you know, hopped on the train, came here, and now we're here. For today's itinerary, we are going to the English market. The English market is basically uh, what's it called. It's basically like Pike's Place Market in Seattle, if you've been. Um, essentially, from what we've seen from pictures, like probably the best rated thing here, or one of the best rated. And we're also debating on going to the Barney Stone if we have time. It's uh, just kind of difficult getting there with the final bus and everything. But that's our plan for today, and then kind of exploring downtown Cork. Plan to have a good day, then tomorrow we're heading back to Dublin, and after Dublin, we're heading to our new country, and I cannot wait for that. Pizza shop called Four Star Pizza. What? A pizza shop across the way. Oh, uh, Four Star Pizza? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, five stars? That's just the start of the day. <laughs> I think I've died and I've gone to heaven. We're in Ashley's red heaven. She's super, she's super short, is at the squat. <laughs> uh, so but, yes, we're gonna go check out the phones and then we're gonna yeah. keep touring around. Yeah. Alright, now we're heading to the Blarney Castle. We're trying to figure out the best, the best stuff. It's not that hard, I think we just make it more difficult than it should be. But I, got it. I think we're heading now. I think the bus is actually here. No, that's not the bus. Yeah. But yeah, heading to the Blarney Castle now. So, yeah. Alright, we made it to Blarney. I guess it's a town, not just a castle. 280 euro for each for each of us. So about what? Six euros almost. So not too bad. And then you just take the same bus back at the same stop. It's pretty easy to get here. So Impressions? Pretty. Really pretty. Really gorgeous. Is it worth it though? Yeah, it's only been in like two minutes. It's like a whole compound, just not the uh, the stone or the. You didn't want to pay. I, didn't, I mean. <laughs> So there's a hole right here, you enter the, the castle, and I guess right here they pour hot water or spear you to death? Or tar. Or tar. tar. So I'm standing under the murder hole. Yeah, you are. <laughs> it's got cold. It's got it.
narrow. It's narrow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I intend to say castles are designed to keep people out, not let them in. That makes sense. Yeah. A narrow. All right. Very yeah. tight spaces in here. Castle's luxuries. There's a toilet. Sir. There'd be a wooden stool with holes. Oh. And then a bathroom. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 And it's very narrow, claustrophobic, claustrophobic with the backpack, but really cool. Uh, really slippery too, so uh, watch for that. And we're gonna go kiss the blinding stone, yeah, stone, get some COVID. With their mask? Uh, yeah. Are you gonna kiss it? Okay, I think so much. Yeah. You gonna kiss it? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Not easy, man. <laughs> That's all you did. You're not doing it? Back now. Oh, the two bars straight behind. If you turn your hands the other way, it's easier. Yeah, into the bottom stone. Bottom stone? That way, B? Yeah. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> All right, so now we showed you the bottom of the murder hole. Now this is the top. So originally there would be a stone right here. And then if the enemy intruded, they'd roll away the stone, sort them, tar them, or hot water them. Yep. See? Mess you up down there. <laughs> 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 now watch out. <laughs> A little help oh, here. We're gonna do the box though. It's a video. Hi. <laughs> we're actually trying to find we're trying to find a lake. We'll get I'm to adventuring. it. Adventuring. Yeah, we'll get to it. In the wilderness explorer. <laughs> found a lake. It's kinda worth it, I guess. I'm tired. <laughs> Alright. But I think we found some uh, sheep, oh, so we're going that way. Are these swans swimming way up there? Right. Oh, wow. Some swans all the way over there. Pretty. Look how big they are. They had those in Florida. All right, we also forgot that Ashley is. I'm allergic to birch and alder trees, my doctor said before leaving. So we were keeping an eye out, but we were just wanted to go to the poison garden. Look at that. Sounds cool. Poison garden. So uh, Ashley will get an allergic reaction. I have Benadryl, Mom. Do you have it with you? No. Oh. Oh. Uh, bah. Bah. oh what's up? <laughs> Sometimes it just hits me that we're just an island in Europe. Just doing whatever. We're just chilling. We're just like, shit. It's pretty cool, huh? Welcome to the jungle. I'm gonna let you sit with that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we wrapped up because your face showed it all. You were so sassy. <laughs> yeah, we just wrapped up. Yeah. All right, we just wrapped up at Blarney Castle. Um, yeah. All right, now we're heading back to Cork. We're gonna get some uh, some lunch. Some well, supper. Some late lunch, I guess. Oh, we yeah. have we have some dinner to make back at home. We bought some stuff. Something small, a snacky snack. Yeah, we're getting a little snacky snack, as Ashley says. And then, yeah, this basically wraps up almost our time here. We're heading back to Dublin tomorrow. And then from there, we're heading to our next country, so. Where are we going? I don't know. Drop, drop what country you think we're going to <laughs> in the comments below. All right. <laughs> All right. So yeah, we're kind of starving, right? And yeah, we're gonna split a granola with Ashley. And yeah, I'll take one bite. Next thing you know, it's gone. She ate it all.
I didn't realize my mouth was full. <laughs> I love. I wrapped up our time in Cork. It was amazing. We went back to Dublin to our original hostel, staying in these dorms with a couple of other people. It's quite cozy, not gonna lie. Good first experience there. Um, we had to go back to our favorite restaurant in Dublin. Tried these fries and these fries. Oh my god. Best fries I've ever had. So obviously we had to end with some drinks. Um, thank you so much Ireland, you're amazing. Thank you for being our first country in our European travels. And now we're off to our next one. Peace.